the mind likes to chatter to itself, to talk to yourself about your breath. How is the breath going right now? Does it feel good? Could you use a little more energy? Or do you want something more relaxing? Where do you feel it, the breath in the body, and where would you like to feel it, where you don't? What could you do? I mean, these are questions you're going to ask yourself. They're actually questions that get you someplace. So many of the questions we ask, the issues we take up, are things that actually cause trouble. Like today, it's going to be hot. Now you can sit around thinking about how hot it's going to be, or just say that the heat is the heat's own business. I'm going to do what I can. And of course, as part of the heat, you take your precautions. Make sure you drink plenty of plenty of liquids and get enough salt to keep you through the day. We're one of the few parts of the country where they actually encourage people to eat more more salt than they normally do. And that's what the heat, how the heat is going to feel. You don't have to keep up a running commentary on that. The heat will take care of itself. It'll come and it'll go, regardless of your interference. And you just figure out, okay, what can I do in the meantime? And you may realize you don't want to go out in the middle of the, the hot sun during the middle of the day. If you're going to do any work, we do it early in the morning or later in the evening. Those kinds of things are really basic, kind of no-brainers. The problem is that we tend to use no-brain as we sit around and comment on this, comment on that. We don't like this, we don't like that, we like this, we like that. The mind just creates a lot of trouble around these things. So as long as the mind is going to be thinking and talking to itself, okay, talk to yourself about the breath and about getting the mind with the breath. That's something that's useful. That's something where you really can make a difference, and the commentary actually helps. So if you find your mind beginning to create trouble where you don't need it, remind yourself, this is a lot of unnecessary waste of energy. Focus your energy on something that really does give rise to good benefits, either for yourself or for other people, or preferably for both. Learn to use this mind that you've got in a way that doesn't create any more suffering, in a way that actually helps in increase the amount of happiness and well-being. We as human beings have all these powers, and yet we abuse them so often. And tell yourself, well, today you're going to use these powers for the best purpose possible. And try to keep focused on that aim.